from here on out, J. Cole has eliminated himself. Uh, I don't want to hear him in no hip-hop conversations. He is talented. He will probably be in the best rappers of all time, the top 20 list. <sighs> but from here on out, f big three. I don't want to hear y'all talk about J. Cole. No, 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 no. Let that nigga go ride his f Bicycle. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. I'm mad at it's the fans. This bitch nigga never wanted to be the best. Y'all try to convince him that he had the uh, talent to be the best. Shit. This bitch nigga was riding tricycles in Tribeca. He was being the twelfth man in Ghana playing basketball. <laughs> I didn't even know to play basketball in Ghana. Y'all convince us. He been told you he had no passion for this shit. He ain't got no passion for this shit. You convinced this light-skinned nigga with no passion to come back and rap like he the best, but he not about it. Soft this baby <laughs> shit. <laughs> then y'all gassed him up. Oh, yeah, no. I think you're the best now. You're rapping uh, the best. Oh, shit. This nigga's pussy. <laughs> Facts. Nigga, friend, folk, nigga, it could be my mama who dropped that Kendrick verse. Oh, I'm shit. giving her the beats. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? This is hip hop. What the? F you acting like you and Kendrick are lovers. You acting like it's Meek Mill and Diddy. What's going on? The softest bitch made shit I've never seen this in hip hop in my whole oh, life. Oh my god, yeah. Everybody, nigga, you know. Oh. 100% right. We've never seen this in hip-hop. And I'm... I don't know, man. There's nothing wrong with taking the bag, guys. There's nothing wrong. Nowadays, take the bag. He's thinking of his family. This is the problem with social media nowadays. It amplifies everything. So people don't really have their own thoughts. It's just like you hear other people, then you, you run with it. It's like, bro, you have to listen and then organize your thoughts and then come with a response. I think the biggest problem which I had with this whole diss track is just that it felt like people gassed him up like, oh, do you hear what Kendrick said? You gotta make a diss track. And then he made a diss track just because people were gassing him to make the diss track. But I find that very stupid because it's like this, right? If you hate somebody, that hate will fuel the diss track. And it kind of feels like this is like, this is my brother. Why would I make a diss track to my brother? Like, we're that close. So I, I thought it was stupid. The guy gets dissed seemingly out of nowhere several weeks ago on the new Metro Boomin' and Future Project by Kendrick Lamar. Mm. Then after that, I'm sure it's days and days and days of prodding and questioning mm. and uh, even harassing, I'm sure, from friends and fans and haters alike. All at Think of this also, he's on tour with Drake. And Drake is gassing him up. Drake is like, because Drake is an overthinker. Drake is like, oh my, these guys, I'm going to come. I'm going to come for them. Like Drake is like foaming at the mouth. And then you got J. Cole there. This is the thing, like J. Cole is a nice person, genuine. Like I think he does music just because he loves it. He doesn't really want beefs with anybody. But this is something which I think is very smart that J. Cole did. He went for the bag. Sometimes it's okay to secure the bag. Well, what are you going to do? We need a response. Eventually, this past weekend, we finally get that. It arrives in the form of a single track off of this uh, latest project he has just put out, Might Delete Later. The song is 7 Minute Drill. We talked about it in the previous video on this channel. It was a lame, it was a weak nothing burger uh, response to say the least and now over the weekend on which this response was released at a live show for j cole's dreamville fest the guy is on the stage apologizing mm. for the response dreamville y'all love kendrick lamar correct oh my god as do i listen we've never seen this in hip-hop history ever ever usually People die. But then again, I just have to say he has to secure the bag. This is this is a tactical move. But I think it's very sloppy to first do all of that 
and then we figure out that it's literally just a copy and paste from what Jay-Z did, a copy and paste from what Nas did, and then all of a sudden you're on stage and then you're just like, bro, I, I'm starting to feel now. I, I feel like Kendrick is my brother and if he were to come out with a diss track, I'll just, I'll take it on my chin. I'm like, what? Like, oh my God, that's so, so... I can say the F word, but I wish that I could just say it like I could just let one fly right now. But for now, I'll just say that's so fruitcakey. So I just want to come up here and be like publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like goofiest shit. And it make I say all that. Bro, it's goofy now. You're being goofy. You're a being a goofy. You're a goofy guy. Stop being a goofy. I don't even know what kind of accent is that. Is that like Italian? It made me feel like 10 years ago when uh, I was moving incorrectly. Cole pretty much takes everything back. Not only the jabs and the downplaying of Kendrick Lamar's discography, but uh, even the energy he went into the response with, which I may be wrong and correct me if I am in the comments, but this is a progression of events that I think is just unforeseen oh in rap music. God. Like a diss, a challenge, uh, an attack happens, lyrically speaking, and then eventually a response yeah. comes and the responder doesn't even give that response a week's time to breathe and is apologizing for responding i'm probably going to make a video about this but we have to sit down and rank all the different diss tracks right right now i have to say the pusha t diss track to drake that shit was a masterpiece right now it's my number one diss track and then i would say my second is hit him up and then my third has to be back to back because back to back was a Slapper back to back was a slap and I was I was a meek fan before all of the Diddy and all of that I was a meek fan and I was like bro when I heard it I was like oh my god and he was a hit Kaisenat was at a loss for words when he found out J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar last night at his Dreamville Fest. Do you guys agree with him apologizing or do you think he should have never done this? People think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest mother Wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? It's a prank. This is a prank. This is a prank. No, 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 no. J. Cole. It's one thing if he was the one that said the thing, but he wasn't even the one that started it. Bro, he didn't start this shit. Welcome back to the Stephen A. Smith Show. The beef brewing between rappers J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake <laughs> seems to be cooling off. You may recall Kendrick Lamar dropped the song <laughs> like that, calling out Cole and Drake. Cole clapped back with, quote, seven-minute drill, which had social media buzzing just last week. But now it seems Cole has had a change of heart. Mm. The North Carolina rapper experienced <laughs> pressured to respond. You know what's so weird about hip hop right now? Hip hop has become like ESPN. We're like, okay, so so Kendrick just came with a diss track. Okay, how how is he going to respond? There's too many commentators right now on the internet. <laughs> There's one part of that shit that makes me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life. <laughs> And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I got to keep it 100 with y'all. I damn near had a relapse. Oh. I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't oh. really feel a way. But the world wants to see blood. Mm. I moved in a way that spiritually feels bad on me. At the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see <laughs> talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. want to say right here tonight, Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest expletives oh to ever touch. Oh my God, bro! A microphone, bro, 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 bro! Don't do that. Listen, this is a message to Drake. Drake, you have to, you have to cook Kendrick. You have to. Dra <laughs> Guys, now that I think of this, this could be maybe the best thing that happened in this this track saga. The reason why is because now Drake has all the pressure. There's no like, oh, Drake, maybe you're gonna... Drake has to come hard. No diddy. 
Drake has to come hard. Because if he doesn't, bro, if Drake, if Drake cannot come hard, his career is done. And the next person that I think is the most important in response to this is Drake. You responded more indirectly slash directly. And the indirectly one is through a different person, which is academics. Academics revealed that he sent out a, uh, the J. Cole apology to Drake and Drake responded to it. So here's the video clip for that. Please. And I sent the video of what this fuck nigga did. I said, well, please don't do no shit like this. Please don't apologize or do no weird shit. Please don't do no shit like this. And it's the only thing I'll say. Drake laughs at me. <laughs> he said, he said, I can't fucking believe you would pull up and say some shit like that to me. You must not know me, nigga. And then following that, Drake and his team released what Drake writes on the whiteboard at his It's All a Blur tour, which he just ended. This apparently was written on his whiteboard every time he was at a stop at a show, and it's clear as day that Drake is ready to compete. So this is what the whiteboard says. The rap game will never be at peace. There will always be competition, and as long as there's competition, there will never be peace. Everyone wants to be the one. See, Drake understands the assignment, man. Even though he's ducking right now, I think he's got something cooking. I think he's going to drop something. Literally this Friday, the same day Future and Metro Boomin drop. And he might go at everybody. He might, go at, he might go at Future 2, Rick Ross, Kendrick Lamar. I think he should go directly at Kendrick mainly, but I think he's going to mix all those people in there because, you know, a lot of them have been running their mouths in this situation. Rick Ross has decided to detach from Drake. Uh, Future obviously sent some, those subliminals on the album. And then Kendrick Lamar, you guys know what he did. So we'll see what he does, but that's the indirect slash direct messaging response from drake when it comes to j cole apologizing i think drake and kendrick it's those two head to head now this is one of the craziest scenarios that i've ever broken down leave it in the comment section guys like comment and share and i'll see you in the next video peace